ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main contest of the afternoon. Five three-minute rounds for the GTFP featherweight title. Please welcome one more time in the blue corner, representing AVT. A record of five wins and only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Stafford Sweetstar! And his opponent in the red corner, representing Ren Ren Renegade Jim. A record of three wins and only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, Kieran Timmins. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Door set to close on this amateur featherweight title fight. Five three-minute rounds. Stafford Swinston, five and two, fighting out of AVT in the Green Hill black and red shorts as he takes on Kieran Timmons, fighting out of the red corner, the black compassion shorts, and Timmons straight in on that single, trying to drag Stafford down to the ground, which might not be such a bad thing. All wins, all five of Swain's wins come via finish, first or second round. Four submissions and one KO, so this is a guy who knows how to finish. Yeah, but you know, working with who he's working with at AVT, you know, Danny Mitchell, Jason Furness, you know he's going he's gonna to be well-rounded and he's going to, with his four submissions, already suggest that he knows the ground as well. We've got some really good corners here. We've obviously got Jake, as we've talked about. We've got Jake Hadley and Chris Meyer over on the other side. Absolutely two standouts. He's took the back there, look. Yeah, and looking to try and it, Chris crank Swainson's that on neck. The back. It's not underneath the chin yet, but it does not look comfortable. No, and he's got he's got the hands connected there, hasn't he? Has he got the hands connected? I, 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 can't, I can't see, but he's... Yeah, he's got the hands looks connected. Gonna I can see his, it. Gonna just climbed onto his back. Oh, he's let again, go now. That IMMAF experience... These amateurs, some of them have it, and I think it helps them in spades. Yeah, I, uh, I am AF. As, uh, I am IMAF has been a brilliant for amateurs for, for the whole, not just the UK, but just amateurs across the whole world. Such a good platform. We've, we've seen it, haven't we? With Absolutely. Mo Kaib. Look how well he's doing now, and Absolutely. that's where he built himself up. And that guy's he's got a hell of a future. Lots yeah. of patience being shown by Kieran Timmons. He's got to take his time. He can't rush. He's in an awkward, awful position, but he's fighting the hands well. Looks like he's going to take the form out here for uh, yep. Stafford. Stafford, Stafford just stepped over. And it almost like forces Kieran onto his belly. Yeah, it's uh, seeming that it was Kieran who shot for the takedown. Stafford's done well. He's, t he's taken over the, the ground yeah, both, here. Both hooks in now trying to get his hands free so he can work up back up towards the neck I think or maybe even throw some punches yeah rolls him through to the back I got one hook in has to work like a spider monkey climbs over him into the half guard and starts to try and land some ground and pound I thought he was going to go for an arm triangle choke there but he's he's uh, Timmons has pulled his arm away He's got the guard back, which is good. He's still being controlled, but he has been able to get himself from having, been, having his back taken to being he a guard. Was, so that's he was positive. In, yeah, I mean, he's really advanced his position quite well, but now let's see if Swain just rolls him to the side, into side control. Yeah, he, he threw his legs up there looking for something, and, and, and Stafford's used that oh, to Forcing to him past. up against the cage, and now Stafford looking to try and get positional advantage swings round yeah new big, big hammer fist there that just missed but that'll lock out some power on it looking at a little bit like north and south with the neon belly but sitting to the side now yeah. a more traditional north and south position pretty much i'd say a pretty close to a full round of control there for an, stafford an absolute full round of control for stafford swain there and but not a lot of damage, just control. Just control, yeah. He, he, he come close with the... He had the neck crank more than the rear neck choke, yeah. didn't he? It looked uncomfortable, but a lot of fighters now are not going to submit to a neck crank. They just gut it out. We'll see now what the game plan is for Kieran Timmons if he has to do anything differently. Uh, remain composed in some awful positions on the bottom. Well, he initiated the takedown as well, so that shows you that he's obviously comfortable on the ground. Yeah. But well, he, he didn't get to take the top position that he was looking for so interesting to see whether he initiates that again or whether he tries to try and keep the, the fight standing well certainly if he ends up on his back he's going to have to work with a little more urgency 
We have got five rounds. Five three-minute rounds. Yeah. Gives Swain chance to work. You don't want to go two rounds down, though, really. And it's fair to say that he's a round down. Oh, I would have thought so. Yeah. It's quite, quite a clear-cut round, I think, for Stafford. Stafford's still bouncing. They meet each other in the center. Low nice kick. Nice leg kick, yeah. Oh, they clash of heads there, look like. Wow, uh, you can see Kieran is trying to get bit. He, Kieran, Kieran's eating a couple of shots oh, that he didn't like. Him with a punch. Oh, oh knee up the, the middle. Yeah, he's got to make sure he keeps that to the body, though. Yeah. With the amateur rules. Nice little scramble here from yeah, Kieran well. to try and take the back. So he's took the back. He's got one leg across. Um, he hasn't really got much control with the hands. Stafford's trying to break the grip. Yeah, Stafford fa hand fighting really well, two on one. I think the cage is helping him there as well. Well, he's got him down, but he couldn't take his back because he was up against the cage. Well, you know, start with inches and then move to feet. He's got this man to the canvas and is in a more dominant position yeah. for the first time in this fight. Stafford's throwing his legs up, though. Yep. And he's got... He's, four, up, he's going up for a triangle choke, look. He's got that settled perfectly. He's four submissions out of five. He's got that, look. He just needs to get that foot down behind and his knee. And he has. That's, that's just beautiful. He's hooked the leg so he can't be slammed. His arms across his neck. That, to me, looks like a perfect triangle. And he's pulling the arm down for a possible arm bar as well. All right, he's going to make... Oh, that's it now. It, no, he's got some room to move. Does he, he's picked him Slams up. Slams him. Is he going to slam himself further into it? It uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, is he going to yeah, roll him? He's, he needs to push the arm across the yeah, neck. Yeah, he's got, he's got way too much space in between. Now he's tightening it up a little bit. And he's grabbed the leg again. That does, now, now that's tight. He's got the arm across. There he's looking to hook. Yeah, looking to hook the arm. And to now take he's the gone for the arm bar. And he's being slammed again. And he breaks the grip, but he... Tightens it back up. This reminds me of Paul Marin slamming yes. Sam Halliday. Oh, some big hammer fists there as well. Yeah, I mean they look nasty, and he's broke the grip now. They're working. And it was, I think, it was the hammer fists that just softened him up and put. Oh, I, can't, I can't keep a hold of it. I got to no. protect my head. But look, <laughs> what a Stafford round! Swinston back to his feet, and now I thought he was looking to turn Kieran Timmons back into the cage. Oh, oh, standing in the pocket and trading. A real... Oh, that yeah, leg kick really hurt him from it's, Stafford. It's the gas Stafford kick. throwing the punches. Kieran Timmons. It just, oh, what a take right in front of us. Just seems that the mind is willing, but the body's just a little bit letting him down at the moment. That it, bit tired. straight into full mount as well. He's going to try and push off the cage, you see. Got that arm nicely hooked as well. Is he going to look for... Is he going to throw some punches? Soft is he going to look for some submission? Ten seconds left in the round. Imagine with ten seconds left, you just want to drop as many bombs as yeah. you can now. Position over submission here, and he's going to control the end of this round out. What a round. Phenomenal. I mean, back and forth as you could hope. Timmons started off really strong in that round. But there's the difference. Yeah. Kieran Timmons is exhausted. He was in that choke for a long time he's with the triangle exhausted. choke. So that was All the oxygen was not going through to his, to his, to his brain then at that time. I'm surprised he didn't go out, to be honest with you. That, that choke looked very, very tight. Nice way from the uh, ring, girl. So if I'm in Stafford Swinston's corner now, I'm telling him... Increase the tempo. You, you put it on him now, turn it up. Yeah. I'd keep him on the feet as well yes. and just punch, punch, punch. Because, I mean, that leg kick dropped him. Let 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 Kieran come in for the tail. Let, yeah. let him get desperate. Let him start looking for them when they're perhaps not there. But when you've got four out when four of your wins out of five come by way of submission maybe maybe you want to look for it a little bit and i don't think he needs to here no because they're going to be a bit easier as he gets tired to land those submissions as well he's going to be he's going to find it harder to defend them isn't he he's he does look tired here we go third round here in our amateur featherweight title contest I'm Stafford right, okay. Swanston fighting out of the blue oh, corner in the, the red and black. Oh, what green. a body kick. Yeah, and you can see Kieran is he trying to get exhausted. in. He looks absolutely shattered. He threw a punch there. He, that's, his and punches look laboured, though. There's no pop to him, not like with Stafford. Everything Stafford throws has got a pop to it. Yeah. Kieran looking to try and get in on that takedown. Is he going to get a guillotine? And he's got the takedown. He's got it. Just sucked out the hips, pulled him down. Has he got a guillotine there? Doesn't look like it. No. 
So it's going to be, can Kieran Timmons maintain the pressure in the position? Looking for a finish, landing some shots, but... He almost needs a round of rest, I think, see if he can get his battery, he's, uh, get recharged. He certainly looked tired at the beginning of the round, but... Heart, will, and skill Absolutely. takes him onto the back. Super impressive. Super to to fight through that when he looked like he was he looked like he was out on his feet. He, he he's yeah. And now he's in top position and he's landing some good ground and pound. Stafford Swanston. He's got just the neck. He's got it under the neck. Look, he's under the neck there. And if that is and under the neck, the, and he can get. Oh, oh but turn. rolls, turns into him. Is he going to end up on top? Yeah, he opens it up. He is on top. Wow, very impressive. He wants and, to get him back to his feet. Standing back up. No. Oh, he's kick not. He's to the body. Throw. That's fine. Yeah, Stafford says get back up. Oh, we know how tired he's going to be. There's it. Still coming forward, though, Kieran yeah, Timmons. He is. I he's mean, still throwing. Oh, gas. that rocked him there from yeah. Stafford. But he's oh, still what up another punch. lands there. How is Kieran, he still on his feet? Still on end, still Every, throwing. Every punch is a bomb. And Stafford initiates the takedown. I'm surprised he didn't go down from those punches then. And Kieran manages to turn him. Wow, that is so impressive to defend that takedown when you're that tired. And, uh, knees as well. and he's going to get under the hips and scoop him out again. Is he going to get Swenston down? Uh, oh, he does! Wow. That is, that, like heart. you say, heart. Oh, a nice hammer fist there from the bottom. Of course, he, he was in the triangle choke last time he yep. was at the bottom as well. Is he going to, he doesn't want to get caught in that again because I think that's why he's so tired. He's gone. Oh, the yeah, he's again, got, caught in it again. Yeah. His arms across the neck. Again, he, yeah. Still plenty of space, though. It's got, he's going to have to tighten that up. That looks that could tight be it. to me. He needs to push the arm across. Obviously, if this was a pro, you'd be saying throw elbows to the head now, but we yes. can't do yeah. that in amateur. But there is a little bit of room. He needs to tighten that up a bit and then put the arm across, I would say. And then he's, I don't think he's going to get enough time, now, this time left. Time. And, you know, even the hammer fist now he, from Timmy's quite tired. Yeah. But, but why why ah. why exert from this position? Protect yourself from the choke. But he left landed to quite fight a few round. heavy shots last time in that position, didn't he? And he was yep. enough for him to break the hold. But he, look at him, he hasn't got the same pop. I don't know how he's still going, to be fair. Hart. Look, they put a chair in for him. Fourth round. He looks exhausted. I didn't think he was going to make it out of round three. I wouldn't be shocked if they called it now and said no round four. I mean, he looks dead on his... He's sitting down, but he looks exhausted. Doesn't look Jake Hadley there in the corner. Doesn't They don't look like they're even considering asking him if he's ready to throw in the towel. No, we know they're a tough gym. We know what they're like. We know how good Jake is. Jake's a... He's already a star. Never mind uh, a future Jake, star. Jake, Jake is going to be a future title contender at the highest level. Oh, insane. Absolutely insane. All right, here we go, round four. Oh, they've left the chair. Can he stay on the chair for the round? No, you got to take... you got to take the chair out. We can't use the chair. No, it's not WWE. Not, okay, I wasn't sure of the rules. Yeah. I'm glad you're here to let me know yeah. that. <laughs> We've got a ladder there as well. We could have a right good scrap. <laughs> Tables, ladders, and chairs, man. Go for it. Look, they're checking yeah, him. Yeah, doctor's checking oh, I don't think they're going to let him go. He looks... Yeah, he's letting yeah, him go. Yeah, he's letting him go. I mean, he's wow. in control of it. He's not, he's not been beaten, him. he's not been sort of beaten the sense, like it is just exhaustion. He's tired, yeah. I'm glad they checked him the way they did. Yes, uh, important, and you, you perhaps don't see, oh, oh, he needed the body, beautiful. Beautiful, right to the sternum as well. Yeah, he placed that beautifully. And he did well to place it like that, because he was low. You would think if they were checking on him in between the, the oh, third and fourth. That. He can't even get back they're to gonna, his feet. They're certainly going to check on him again, should we go. Should, should we see the end of this round? I'm looking at the referee, and obviously Paul's a very good referee. He's looking at the eyes of his opponent. Yeah, Paul, I think I think he's close to stopping this. Uh, it will depend. Swenston just needs to put a flurry on. A little bit of a kick in the legs ain't going to be that flurry, though. So he either lets his man get back up. He needs to let him back up. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, and then... I mean, he looks you, like Bambi on ice. Do you want to see hard on display? Because you're seeing it. Oh, you're I, seeing hard. 
Hart Stafford needs to break the grip and just keep yeah, throwing. Yeah, he just needs to land shots. He just get him down. Four. I would make him stand back up. He, I think Simmons four, wants to be on his back. He wants to be on the ground. I think four or five unanswered ground shots, and yeah. referee's got every reason he needs to stop it. That's a big shot as well, coming in. But Kieran Timmons is not here just to make he's, up the number. He he's, he's in here to compete. Very close to being finished. He's gone for the arm now. Oh. Very close. Tried to, to being look finished. for it. Tried to go for the single. He is looking for another big shot. I'd make him stand uh, up. Well, yeah, it is. Oh, he's I, I, up. I think now it's going to be somebody needs to save Kieran Timmons from himself. Yeah, Timmons is on. He's just, very wobbly. And but he keeps coming forward. I can see a standing TKO. I can see the referee just Heart it. and will. Yeah, and he's pre but he's the one pre big oh respect. nice knee up to the middle again. But look, and he's got the Timmons in on the double leg and he insane. secures a takedown. And he's on the back. Surely not. This will be one of the biggest come from behind. One hook in now. Is he, is he a little hit, is he a bit too high up? No, he's trying to adjust. He's landing the few few shots here. I'm just completely shocked that, Again. That, we're, that we are where we are at this stage of the fight. There's the, I was always told where there's a will, there's a way, and here you're kind of seeing it in action. And he's got because, full mount lock. Oh, but he had to give it up, and that was just t that was just exhaustion. But he's right on him again. On he's him. giving him no room to, to strike. Which Pull is what he's oh, it's that knee again up the middle right into the chest, but single, double legs him down again. Fair. This is insane. He just... On the back again. Wow. I like, mean, what are the judges making of this? This is this is Timmins' round. You look at you look at him, and you would have sworn when the round started he was done. He's gone. Look, he's going for that. And choke. he's gone underneath. Is he underneath? He's going for that choke. Well, has he got the? You know, he hasn't no, got but good lord, he, wow. he, it's keeping keeping Stafford Swenston honest. And we're going to get a fifth. And who thought we'd have got a third, let alone a fifth? And you know what? He's come back to life, look. Look at that. He's obviously got his second win. That's... You just got to give him massive respect. A huge respect. You can't, you know, fighters, people go into the gym and train, and you can train them technically, and can you, but you can't train them to want it so bad that they're going to keep going when everything seems lost. I don't know what the scorecards are. Well, all I know is we got one round left, and I can't pick a winner. I Where's think, Stafford's head at as well? Because he must have felt like he was close to finishing I'm the all fight. Over this guy. And now he's just lost the round. Unbelievable. That seat in, the, in there is really helping him, getting him... Jake's helping with his breathing as well. I'm, Stafford must be in shock. I'm you've, in shock. You've gone from the brink of winning the fight to basically just brink losing that round. If, uh, if, he had, if he had put on a flurry there, three or four unanswered ground shots, I think Paul Crossley would have stepped in. Stop. I thought he was going to step in anyway. It cool. was that, it was, Here we he go. Looked, but he, he looked completely different now, Timmins. Fifth and final round. Stafford needs to stick and move. That's what yeah, he needs to do. And that's what he's doing. Timmins just needs to bull rush himself in, stick to him like glue, and hope he can secure that next takedown. The, the difference is the feet. If, if he can keep this on the feet, uh, hit, hit, move, hit, hit, move. That's what he needs to do. Because he's still got the pop in yeah, his strikes. If Timmons can take him down, I'd be bringing along a lunchbox and staying there all day. Oh, absolutely. Keep him on the ground, yeah. And Kieran, he's still coming forward. Swear, oh, what a huge power. Right, big right. Every shot's got power in it but now. But he just keeps walking forward. How is he still standing? I mean, a, a belabored takedown attempt, but still, still forward. Still a takedown attempt. Nice Another uppercut, uppercut there. there. Tim and still with his hands up. I think we've got our fight of, our fight of the night. We've had some great fights already. We certainly, have. I mean, if there were performance bonuses being given out, even if it's on the end of, even if it's on the end of a losing decision, Karen Timmons has shown everybody what a bit of heart and well, some skill and a lot this of is skill why he's can fighting do. For a title because this is what he can do, and he's he's on the he's back on the back again. again. Does he need a finish? Yes, I think he does. Yeah, I, th I think. I oh, think he's lost it's the just lock. that it's the it's the illusion, isn't it? It's the appearance of the fighter not being fit, not going for it. That can. But let's see what he can do from the bottom here. Is it going to be hang on and survive, or Swenston going to use this to try and posture up and finish this with a stamp? 
I think, in the final Simmons round. is going to be very, find it very difficult to get off his back now because we know he's tired. We know how, how exhausting how could you it not is. Be? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm tired watching him. We know how exhausting it can be when you're on your back. Uh, trying to get, you know, move somebody's body weight around, and you need your energy to do that. I, Sw I think Swenston's doing exactly the right thing, landing a few, chipping away. I think he feels that the rounds are his, so he needs to. He doesn't need to do anything. Oh, that oh. was a big punch then. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah the, the the ring shake or the cage floor shake then. He doesn't need to rush. He doesn't need to look for a finish that doesn't present itself. He just needs to keep controlling and chipping away at Timmons now. He's throwing his legs up there Simmons as well. Threw it. Oh, the Omaplata attempt. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm so impressed with Timmins. Uh, his, his, uh, his, his mentality, yeah, his, his attitude, his heart. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's super impressive. And what happens when that gas tank catches up with that heart? Oh, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean, yeah. Like, that's going to create some problems for people. But right now, though, Swenston. Full mounted now. Full mount. Ten seconds left. Can Easy going to put the stamp on it for the title? Really good. A really impressive performance from both, but really impressive with, from Stafford. Yeah, but with, the away fighter as well. Coming both, from these, both these fighters done a phenomenal job. Very good fight. Stafford Swenston not letting the remarkable comeback. I can't believe this went five rounds. I can't Stunning. believe this went five rounds. Stunning. It's what you get when you train with people like they, what, what they've got at Renegade, though. I mean, the, the gym there is phenomenal. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for both of these fighters. <laughs> After five rounds, we go to the judges for a decision. It is a unanimous decision to the new GTFP featherweight champion, Stafford Sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our new featherweight amateur champion, Stafford Swenston, and holy crap, what a fight. Yeah, good fight, really took a long one. Probably the most enjoyable fight I've had in MMA, and probably the hardest as well, so up to him, fucking a tough warrior, uh, but got job done, grinding out, and got the victory. And we've had some cracking fights tonight here, but that's got to be up there as fight of the night. What are you looking for next? I'm just looking for the hardest fights in the UK. Uh, I don't want no bums. I don't care about the records. I'm just looking at the guys. So if they're hard for me stylistically, I want the fights because that's going to make me improve. W one last question and I'll let you go. You're known for finishing fights by a sub early. You now show you've got the cardio as well. What are you taking from this fight? What are you proudest of? I always had the fucking cardio or grind for a living. But, um, but yeah, these fights, you get longer, the longer time to fight out, I learn a lot more. So these one, one round fights here, yeah, they're good for your record, they look good for you, but you don't really learn out. It's these sort of fights that you improve on and you become a better fighter than me. So I'd rather have fights like these in my amateur career to build me up for when I go pro. Well, congratulations on picking up a piece of hardware. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the GTP. One more thing, Bannerweights, Featherweights UK, any one of you, I'm having you. Just called out any featherweight in the UK. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the champ.